everyone. This is Dr. Maddie. And I'm your host today with this episode about warehouse robotic automation. I have a very special guest today, Nate from Prime Robotics is here to talk about their company and their robotic solutions for warehouse automation. How are you doing, Nate? Thanks for accepting my invitation for this talk and our viewers would love to know more about you and your company and what robotic solutions you provide for warehouse. Hi, Maddie. Nice to meet you uh, and thank you for the invite as well. Oh, um, it's nice to, to be on call with MechaRhythm. Mecha um, yeah, so Prime Robotics, um, I'll give you just a little bit of a, a quick little uh, summary in a nutshell. Um, so I'm our VP of Sales and Marketing here. Um, Prime Robotics has been around since 2015. Um, and for the first two years of our uh, company, um, we did purely research and development, um, developing our own robotic hardware, developing our own software um, and developing different workflow integrations to suit all of those needs. Um, since then, uh, we've we've gone to we've gone commercial um, and we provide we currently provide two solutions to the warehouse e-commerce uh, logistics um, and manufacturing uh, industries. So we provide mobile shelf, which is a goods to person shelf unit. Um, it, uh, it can move up to 1,100 pounds. Um, and then we also have our mobile pallet solution, which is a pallet mover palletization robot solution. Um, that can actually move up to 4,400 pounds. So just over two tons. Um, so yeah, Prime Robotics, uh, again, we're a full service turnkey robotics company. So um, all of our robotics hardware, software, um, integrations, implementation, and support. Um, we provide it all to our clients. So um, we're definitely a long-term partner um, engaged with our clients on a weekly level kind of company. Oh, that's so cool. So most of your robots are uh, like autonomous mobile robots. Um, so what if a customer needed a robotic arm with a unique gripper for picking certain items, maybe even mounted on this robotic platform? Uh, can Prime Robotics provide this robotic solution as well? Yeah, so we are actually developing our own robotic arm right now. Uh, we'll be launching it in Q3 of this year, um, Q2, Q3, depending on development. Um, but we're currently developing our ro our own Prime Robotics robotic arm now. Um, this arm will be for palletizing. So it will be a large stationary arm that moves um, boxes from A to B. Um, you know, we'd like what we'd like to do is use a gripper that can allow us to grab two boxes um, so that we're able to grab two boxes and move them, you know, roughly every eight to 10 seconds, which is tremendous ROI. Um, so we're developing that pro that robotic arm um, to answer your question. That'll be available later this year. Um, and then sure, um, as far as um, customizability of our other robots, right? Mobile pallet or mobile shelf. If we were looking to put a conveyor on them or a robotic arm or some type of gripper, um, all of that is possible with um, reasonably possible with some development and understanding of what the client's needs are. Perfect, yeah. So uh, my next question is, it can be terrifying for some warehouse operators when they hear the name robot and they may think that it's a robotic solutions may be complex for them to adopt. Um, or maybe their uh, warehouse management system is not up to date and they're afraid that the robot cannot be integrated with WMS. Are your robots easy to integrate even for people with little working knowledge with robots? Yeah, I would say I would say two key areas that really separate Prime Robotics um, would be our software and um, our integration capabilities. So our software can integrate with any WMS, any ERP, um, any PLC system out there. Um, prior to Prime Robotics, uh, my CEO started a company called Bloom, a software development company. And with that software development company, uh, we wrote about 15 different warehouse management software applications over about a 15 year period. So that's how we got to know the warehouse business. 
was writing software for our clients like Red Prairie and JDA and stuff like that. Um, so that's how we got to understand the warehouse side of things. Um, and then uh, spun off Prime Robotics from Bloom, you know, six years, seven years ago now. Um, we had the ability, we had the understanding of what warehouses are looking for and how to make robots that were purpose built. Um, so um, from a simplicity perspective, from an integration perspective, um, there really isn't anything we can't integrate with. As long as our clients can provide an order that, that digitally goes to our system, um, our system can take it from there in terms of workflow management, shelving, inventory, robots, all of that. Um, and then your second question, uh, I think is a big, you know, your second point on um, training and complexity. Um, our so I'll put our software up against anyone in terms of simplicity and ease of use. Um, everything is very intuitive. Um, I can grab someone off a client warehouse floor and train them on our software in about 15 minutes and they, they'd be up and running and getting That's so the impressive. Yeah, they'd be up and running and getting the basics. It's um, it's pretty cool. We bring people in for demos all the time. And in addition to have them looking at the, at the solutions, um, I have them actually use the system. So, um, you know, within For a matter people, of- people like robots conjured those industrial robots in cages that were not safe to work in proximity with humans. But these robots use AI modules and IoT modules uh, for their navigation, obstacle avoidance and safety. So they are pretty safe to work with humans, correct? Yeah, definitely very safe. So we use, fidu our, our robots are driven on fiducial QR codes, mm -hmm. um, spaced out roughly every meter um, mm -hmm. on a grid-like pattern. Um, and essentially, you know, put those grids down wherever you want robots to go and wherever you want people to go, you know, don't put the grids down. And um, a great interface between the robots and the humans are our various pick stations, our ship stations, pick and pack stations, delivery stations. Um, we have a variety of different stations where humans and robots interface um, to develop that productivity. And here, let me, um, let me give you a quick background. So I'm in a side room here, but um, you can see now this is one of our pick stations in the background. Um, I've got some of my robots here on the bottom. Uh, these are actually, this is a group of our mobile shelf, um, mobile shelf robots um, and mobile shelf shelving. Um, and then I'm also have a mobile pallet here that we're doing um, some testing on this afternoon. Um, so just giving you an idea of our, um, of our warehouse space in Denver, Colorado um, and kind of the robotics going on here. Mm -hmm. So how much more do you think robots improve productivity in warehouses compared to the human worker? It's extensive. Uh, it's extensive it, and, it, and it's, it really depends, right? It depends on what kind of warehouse it is. It depends on what kind of products they're moving. Um, but, you know, it depends on whether are we talking about picking something from a shelf are we talking about sorting boxes off of pallets or are we talking about something else? Um, there's a tremendous amount of efficiency across the board in all those areas. Um, when it comes to picking, um, so picking and packing off of shelves, generally speaking, we see 800 to 1000 percent productivity. Wow. Um, so what one human can do, um, a robot can do 10 of um, or if you have, you know, let's say 20, 30 people doing, you know, very laborious manual and in intensive picking, you might be able to bring on a robotic solution and keep, you know, move to four or five humans to manage all those robots. Um, so there's a lot of efficiency on both sides. Cost is also, also reduced because you don't have to pay these robots when they are implemented. Yeah, and they don't take smoke breaks either. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <cool. laughs> no smoke breaks, no lunch breaks, no bathroom breaks. <laughs> uh, so th the navigation is autonomous for these robots, but do the robots charge themselves autonomously as well? Yeah, um, we have... Uh, um, our autonomous robots, when they reach about 15% battery charge left, 
then there's an automatic trigger within our system that will tell them to go get in the queue, to go recharge or get in the recharge line um, to be recharged. And generally speaking, our robots need about an hour and a half of recharge time to then work for 10 hours in a row. Oh, that's so impressive. Um, so, and also this COVID-19 thing really accelerated automation. For instance, I know that Amazon tested drone delivery in 2003, uh, but they got the approval for that in 2020. I think more industries are considering automation that uh, they may not consider before. What industries can most benefit from your robots for their automation of their warehouses? Uh, I think, you know, warehouse logistics for sure. Um, we've seen a tremendous spike in warehouse logistics, uh, e-commerce businesses, uh, manufacturing sites. Um, our business has spiked tremendously in the last 12 months um, within those specific industries. Um, warehouse and manufacturing is, there's large need here and a lot of manual um, a lot of manual labor going on now that's not very fun for anyone and, and not very productive. So there's a lot of opportunity in the U.S. and in North America, for sure, in those areas. Correct. So I know that you're on a tight schedule here. So I would uh, love to ask you two more questions about the Prime Robotics, where it started, and what is your story uh, why did you choose to develop robots for warehouse automation? Yeah, um, so as I said, Prime Robotics was started in 2015. Um, we did about two and a half years of research and development. So strictly building software and hardware um, and getting our, our first solutions to market. Mm -hmm. um, since then, over the past five years, we have uh, updated generations of both of our robotic solutions. Um, and this year we're on pace to develop um, a robotic arm, uh, a conveyor robot, um, and also start floor feature navigation. So moving away from fiducial codes um, that they drive on and moving towards floor feature navigation. Um, so that's kind of our roadmap for the next year or so. Um, yeah, as I said before, we started in Shenzhen, China um, with a company called so Bloom Software Development. Um, and uh, but quickly moved over to the U.S. with Prime Robotics. So we're headquartered in Denver, Colorado. Um, you can find us at primerobotics.com. Um, and yeah, um, looking forward to this year and, and everything, um, everything robotics and everything the, the logistics industry is bringing for us right now is, is, is pretty crazy and, and pretty exciting. Right. So my last question is, some of our viewers are studying robotics and some seek their dream jobs in robotics. What qualifications they should have in order to join your company? Um, that's a really good question. And we actually are hiring for like four positions right now. So it's very, wow. top, of my, <laughs> it's very top of mind for us. Um, we want people who, love, who have a passion for robotics. Um, we need people that are curious. Uh, we need people that um, that are self-starters, that are solution-driven. Um, robotics is a very new industry, and if you're going to innovate in a new industry, um, you've got to constantly be asking questions and and trying to understand why and and looking for new solutions, whether it be with a specific client or a specific component of the robot um, or a new workflow within the software. Um, being curious and and looking for new opportunity is a big part of of anyone any of our employees um curiosity is a big thing there mm -hmm.